Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. This is GMTV. Yeah, welcome to GMTV. And uh, this news here is uh, about Mazi Peter Obi. Peter Obi's life is in danger right now because uh, the Nigerian, some of the Nigerian government aspirants uh, or, or in the states, they are planning to to buy this Peter Obi. So because he's the one that is, is instigating this very very protest that is coming up that is funding the protest secretly and also Mazi Samanekpa warn everybody and anybody that is uh, instigating this violence against Peter B. and uh, he said if anything touches Peter B, then they will know that a uh, madman has a human has a people that uh, if anything if they buy Peter B, that they will know that a uh, mad pe mad person has a family so he, he talked tough today and uh, he said uh, uh, they are just using it to cover face so that uh, they will be able to establish what they want to establish uh, on their protest and uh, he used this time to advise everybody in uh, Biafra land that you must not go on protest if you go on protest if you buy you buy by yourself it's all your own and it's you that will lose and nobody is going to cry about you because you just buy for nothing so with this if this is your first time of coming across our channel please do us a favor like share so comment let other people know about gmtv on this note there's one video that's accompanying this very very uh, news and I'm going to leave it, I'm going to play it for you so that you guys can listen to it. Look at what they have just said. They said Peter Obi is in charge of this protest and is the one leading the protest. They want to use that one to tag him so that they can they will be able to buy him. But we don't really know. Um, Mazis Amonekwa said if they buy him that a lot of things is going to happen. I will go to turn the table upside down. This is... GMTV. Of oh, this note, I'm gonna leave this for you to watch it. Please do share to other people for everyone to know as well. And also remember that no protest in Biafra land, the whole entire Biafra land, no protest is allowed. And all the army that is going around in Biafra land as well, if you see any of them, take their videos, take pictures, send it to the social media and let everybody know the location where those uh, terrorist army are in Biafra land. This is GNTV. I'll leave it to you now so you can watch it and also remember to also tell other people about what is going on. This is GNTV. By on Onuga, the special advisor on information and strategy to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has come under heavy criticism after he alleged that the supporters of Peter Obi are planning to cause mayhem across the country and that he should be held responsible for anarchy. Bayo made the claim in a post on X and also stated that the protest planners are also the same people who were instigated by Namdi Kanu to launch destructive NSAS protest in Nigeria in October 2020. His tweet reads in part, Revealed, Peter Obi's supporters are the people planning mayhem in Nigeria. Obi should be held responsible for <laughs> anarchy. They are the people spreading the hashtags and bad governors. Tinubu must go and revolution 2024. Wow. They are not Democrats, but anarchists. They are attempting to call out our people via propaganda because they are Messiah. Peter Obi failed to win the presidency in the 2023 election as bad losers. They don't have the patience to wait for another election in 2027. They would rather destabilize Nigeria by staging a civilian coup against President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Let me take this response from EJ. He wrote, Sir, it is important to acknowledge that Nigerians are experiencing frustration at this time. Yes. There are individuals who will continue to feel discontent after the 2023 election, but that shouldn't be the focus now. The government should prioritize finding solutions to the economic difficulties in the country and show empathy towards the struggles of its people. The Constitution guarantees the right to peaceful protest, which is essential for a healthy democracy. The people should be allowed to do that. Destructive protests, however, I do not support. Well, another user there wrote, I mean, he actually posted a video 
And I'll play that video. But he wrote, this was Tinubu calling uh, on Nigerians to come out during Jonathan's regime. Let's take a look at that video. But they will forget the other one. That is what they are doing. With your money. Not enough that they are stealing from our children tomorrow. For lack of inspected in education. They are still embezzling the retirement benefits of hardworking Nigeria, including our grandfathers. They are stealing the pot, the treasury, not even leaving some coins for us to war with. Let them be out. Out now. All right, that is our president. That was our president in 2014 calling, I mean, protests are fundamental Oji. rights. Abi? I didn't know. You didn't know? Egbombayo Nodunga to yeah. be a propagandist. Oh, wow. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him based on the work he did and in the struggles in this country. But the propagandist nature, I didn't know that part of him. He's just spreading propaganda. And we would like him to substantiate with empirical facts that is actually the Peter of Bikram. And if he doesn't substantiate with empirical facts, Dr. Bati, you're the lawyer. I think you should be sued. Secondly, the one that hurt me the most is he went to mention the likes of them, what's he called, Professor Pato Tommy, that had been busy in a fellowship in America, that he was also part of those that are trying to. This is just propaganda. Why is it that those, I repeat, that protested heavily against Jonathan hate protest today? I'll take you back. There's a tweet has made. You see, Twitter has too much receipts. By Bayon Onuga, on the night of January 2012, you know as at then, the subsidy protests were still on, occupying Nigeria. He tweeted, songs of protest sent to me by Omotude Muruta Labelu. So inspiring. Sing it if you speak Yoruba. These were people that were excited about protest in 2012. Mm. All I just needed to do was to go check his Twitter. So the question is, what changed? The parameters were empirically better under Jonathan than it is today. As at Jonathan's time, Nigeria was about one of the top five investment destinations in Africa. As at Jonathan's time, the economy was well close to 500 billion GDP. Today it has half to 251 billion GDP. As at Jonathan's time, unemployment rate was not the way it is high today. As at Jonathan's time, we did not have well over 34% inflation. So pound for pound, all the parameters. As at Jonathan's time, if you go and check, the likes of the big companies that are living in Nigeria today were declaring bigger profits. And when they had that protest that they shut this country down for two weeks, Oji, nobody died. There was never a time... That the military that was stationed around the Ganifa Emi Square area went to shoot protesters. In fact, the only person that died was the overzealous police officer that shot somebody called Demola around Yaya Baton. That was the only incident we recorded. But look at what happened in Ensas. Look at all of this. All the time they kept on protesting and making this country ungovernable. Jonathan never for once said, please don't do it. Everybody had a right to protest. That is it. So why is it that now that the country is, all the indices are bad, these same people, this same Mr. Bayanonuga that tweeted a song of protest sent to him by Muruta Labelu on the night of January 2012, finds it difficult and start to blame all sorts of people. Anyway, the Labour Party has responded to him. They said, I have no hand in it. Obi too has been. If he has the facts that it's actually OB, he should bring out the empirical facts. Yes. If he doesn't, he should be sued. Can't a government spokesman be sued? I mean, that's why Dr. Bati can answer that question. A yes. quick comment from right. you, and Very then we'll just I, take I think a. In terms of just throwing that line of uh, it being propaganda, number one, the reason for that protest is that Nigerians, according to reports, want to protest the hardship and the high cost of living. So the question as, as to where the Mr. Peter Obi conversation comes in is, Mr. O, Peter Obi increased the um, price of fuel and the attendant effect on Nigerians. Is it the one that's the, the determining factor of how much a bag of rice and a bag of gari is in the market? Is it the one that has ensured, uh, that hasn't made the, um, this student loan come to pass? Is it the one that has made transportation costs 
um, sk um, skyrocket without CNG buses, even though that is an ongoing conversation. So it is almost moving away from the real issues and pointing fingers at what is not. Right. Let them face the real concerns of Nigerians, Absolutely. which is that Nigerians are suffering a big power. That is what people want them to address. If they can address it, perhaps there will be no protest. Right. Not pointing fingers at a gentleman.